Despite the recent disruption in air travel, engineers never stopped working on more technological aircraft that will be reshaping the way we traverse the skies during the third decade of the 21st century. The end goal of the new planes are cleaner and more efficient propulsion systems, better flight autonomy and safety, and surely added in-flight comforts when it comes to passenger jets. In today's episode, we'll be exploring the latest aviation news and model introductions. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy your flight! Piper Aircraft M600 SLS Previously known under the PA46 line of aircraft as Malibu, Malibu Mirage or Malibu Meridian, Piper now refers to its upper market offerings as the M-Class. The M600 SLS model is the newest addition to the roster that exceeds industry's expectations of a single-engine pressurized cabin turboprop. This plane is the first general aviation model in the segment to be equipped with the Halo technology, which comes integrated into the Garmin G3000 avionics and allows fully autonomous landing when the system senses that the pilot is incapacitated. Besides the unparalleled safety suite, the Piper M600 SLS shines with a proven Pratt & Whitney PT6A42A engine flat rated at 600 shaft horsepower and good for 274 knots cruising speed. At 28,000 feet, the cabin is pressurized to 8,244 and has beautiful interior as a part of the standard EXP package with selected leathers, veneer and two-tone seating scheme. Boom XB1 and Overture The era of Concords might have ended, but the dream of supersonic commercial jet travel never left the minds of aviation engineers. The history's first independently developed jet that can travel two times over the speed of sound is being designed by Boom Technology, an American startup founded in 2014. The flight testing will start in 2021 with the XB1 Baby Boom one-third scale demonstrator that was built to maintain Mach 2.2. The actual production model will be called to the Overture, and the company plans to begin operations by 2030. The envisioned airliner shall carry 55 passengers to the distance of up to 4,500 nautical miles at 1,300 knots cruise speed. The Boom Overture will keep the Concorde's delta wing design, but will be built of composites and powered by three General Electric dry turbo fans with 15 to 20,000 pounds of force. Cessna Sky Courier Revealed in 2017, this twin turboprop utility aircraft is reaching the final stages of its development and is planned to start production by the end of this year. The Sky Courier gets two modifications. The Cargo One fits three LD3 containers and it's rated for 6,000 pounds of payload in total, while the passenger version is good for 19 people. Both are expected to cruise at 200 knots, covering from 400 to 900 nautical miles without refueling. The aircraft offers plentiful interior room with overhead storage in case of the passenger model, though expectedly it does not get cabin pressurization. The craft is propelled by two Pratt & Whitney Canada PT6A turboprop engines with 1,100 horsepower each that spin four-bladed Macaulay propellers. It also gets rugged landing gear and single-point refueling that simplifies operation. Boeing MQ-25 and Loyal Wingman The era of unmanned flight and drone aerial warfare is already upon us. Boeing is closely cooperating with the Navy and Air Force to stay at the forefront of innovation, and they are delivering two vehicles under the Aerial Refueling Store and Air Power Teaming System programs. Under the former, 70 MQ-25 aircraft will be supplied to the Navy as a replacement to the current F-A-18 tankers. In turn, the latter initiative is pursued by Boeing Australia and will become the first aircraft to be designed, engineered and manufactured in the country in more than 50 years. The Loyal Wingman drone was designed to fly alongside existing platforms and use artificial intelligence to conduct teaming missions. Despite being manufactured by separate branches, the duo has similar design and is likely to share tech characteristics, like 2000 nautical miles range 
and 38 feet length. Dassault Aviation Falcon 6X The development of this aircraft dates back to 2013, when Dassault first revealed their 5X business jet powered by a pair of Saffron Silvercrest engines. However, after experiencing continuous issues with these turbofans, the company decided to abandon the project in favor of the new 6X aircraft. It has the same fuselage design with class-leading white body, but gets Pratt & Whitney Canada engines. This Falcon is capable of traveling for 5,500 nautical miles, or from Los Angeles to Moscow. It can also reach speeds of 0.9 Mach or 516 knots. The aircraft gets 30 large windows, letting more natural light in, plus an industry's first skylight. The 6X can be equipped to accommodate from 8 to 16 passengers, with its cabin being cleverly divided to create common work and living spaces, along with the areas of privacy and relaxation. If you are a fan of aircraft and want to watch more top 10 videos about them, make sure to smash the like button and leave a comment saying I want more. Thanks for the feedback and let's keep going. Airbus Ethan X and Zero E-Line Besides all the other efforts to meet CO2 goals and defeat climate change, humanity also counts on the success of the mission to decarbonize the skies. As an active participant of this endeavor, Airbus has given a pledge to develop the world's first zero-mission commercial aircraft by 2035. Their initial step was the development of the Ethan X flight demonstrator alongside Rolls-Royce that proved viability of hyperelectric propulsion. The next move to deliver on this ambition will be done under the Zero E program that explores hydrogen hybrid propulsion for three types of aircraft: a turboprop, a turbofan, and a blended wing body turbofan. The former will carry 1000 plus passengers at 322 knots to the distance of 1000 nautical miles, while the latter models are going for the 200 plus passengers carrying capacity and 2000 plus nautical miles range at the cruise speed of 500 knots. Embraer Phantom 300E and Porsche 911 Turbo S Advertised as the perfect duet, the Embraer Porsche pair comes wearing matching colors and specially developed batching. The limited edition joins the latest Phantom 300E and the 911 sports car in the Turbo S guise that also gets an exclusive Kraton luggage set. The 300E is powered by the usual turbofan engines from Pratt & Whitney that generate 3,478 pounds of thrust each. This aircraft can cover 2,010 nautical miles, has a service ceiling of 45,000 feet, and has a maximum speed of 0.8 Mach or 464 knots. The specially styled cabin accommodates five passengers and a pilot, fits a bathroom, and offers glass-leading baggage space of 84 cubic feet. This Phantom 300E also comes with a modern Prodigy Tech Avionics, surface watch, vertical navigation, graphical flight planning, and weather radars. Magnix E-Caravan Creating an original aircraft, especially an electric one, is a lengthy and complex process, so some manufacturers actually prefer to stick to tried and tested designs by outfitting planes from established brands with electric drivetrains. Among such builds is the E-Caravan, which basically is a Cessna 208B Grand Caravan fitted with an electric propulsion system from Magnex. Co-developed with the Seattle-based ROTC, the model is powered by 750 HP electric motor and a huge lithium-ion battery weighing around 1 ton. It can carry 4 to 5 passengers to the distances up to 87 nautical miles. But according to the companies, they are developing an even larger battery pack that will both increase the plane's carrying capacity to 9 people and improve its flight endurance. This battery electric Cessna completed its first flight in May 2020, and it is aiming to receive certification by the end of 2021. Cirrus 8000 Limited Edition SR Series In early 2021, the Minnesota-based Cirrus aircraft delivered its 8000th unit from the SR Series, 
which has been in production for over 20 years and made the company the world's largest producer of piston-powered aircraft. To commemorate this milestone, Cirrus announced the ultra-limited edition of their bestseller. Breaking the boundaries of the traditional design, eight copies will wear the special vault paint scheme that consists of luminescent green on the body and wings and black and silver contrasting treatment on the upper fuselage. A similar color scheme with bright stitching and patterns is used across the aircraft's interior. Cirrus does not tell us the exact propulsion specs of the special edition model, but we do know that it is guaranteed to get the latest flight deck technology from Garmin, premium cockpit connectivity, and the brand's dedicated mobile application with real-time aircraft data. Dire Echo Pulse After only 12 months of development, this joint project between Dyer, Safran, and Airbus has successfully passed the preliminary design review phase. The future hybrid electric aircraft is based on the Dyer TBM airframe and gets the model's Pratt & Whitney Canada PT6 turboprop front engine. In the case of the Echo Pulse, the mill delivers thrust directly during takeoff and other high-power maneuvers but at the same time, it charges the plane's battery array. The latter powers six electric motors with a capacity of 50 kW each. The Saffron-developed distributed hybrid propulsion system will cover longer distances, offer higher payloads, and consume less fuel than conventional aircraft. The prototype assembly is set to begin in 2021, with the first EcoPulse flight scheduled for 2022. Strato Launch After the untimely death of the company's founder, Paul Allen, the Strato Launch project, once envisioned as one of the major milestones in the space exploration, faced an uncertain future. Fortunately, this massive airplane will not be sold for scraps, since the new owner, Cerberus Capital Management, has plans to repurpose it for high-speed flight test services. This aircraft has the largest ever wingspan, reaching 385 feet, and the unusual twin fuselage construction. Powered by six Pratt & Whitney engines, the same ones that you can find on a Boeing 747, the aircraft can carry a maximum payload of 500,000 pounds, with a range up to 1,000 nautical miles and the maximum altitude of 35,000 feet. Are you optimistic about the future of air travel? Will things go back to normal in a year or two? Which one of the presented aircraft impressed you the most? Let's discuss all of these questions in the comment section. Subscribe, smash the like button if you haven't already, and watch more aviation content by clicking on the icons on the screen. May the torque be with you!